It's a snow simulation, a virtual vehicle that will make you feel like you're in the slopes. When I saw the machines, I was like, is this a rug making company or what? This moving carpet is called a ski deck, and it will whip you into ski and snowboarding shape. It's a challenge enough just to stand on the machine. It's a workout. You're working muscles that don't get used anywhere else but on snow. I've got my snowboard boots ready to snowboard, but there's no snow, and we're in Santa Monica. Our instructor at Double Snow is Mark Burnham, a 40-year expert skier. First thing, we're going to get you belted. Step in. After climbing into the ski simulator and securing the safety belt, it was time to step in the snowboard and ride. So now we're snowboarding. We are snowboarding, and you can't fall or get hurt. That security and stability helps you okay. learn and perfect skills in a more technical way. It definitely feels different than snowboarding. So when you take gravity and forward momentum away from an activity, you're only left with what the person is doing with their muscles to control themselves. Virtual snow operated out of the Santa Monica location for more than a decade, and the popularity of these snowboard and ski decks continues to grow. I, mean, I have a 14-month-old client who started at 14 months. I have a client who walked in the door when she was 73. They learn a lot of things, and because they prep me to not fall and hurt myself. Ready? Sasha Milstein trains at Virtual Snow every weekend, sometimes twice a week. This here is very controlled. She's strapped onto belts and she has fun doing it. So once we got to the snow, she was so much more comfortable. I'm going to do a 360 in the snow. Eight year old Josie showed us moves she perfected in this controlled environment. I feel safer because there aren't millions of scooters behind me that might crash into me and I won't fall over on rocks in the way. Most of our clients call up and they say, wow. I did so much better at the snow. Making it easier and more accessible to get a personal lesson aimed at perfecting technique and strengthening skills in this indoor virtual ride. It forces a person to get outside of their body and outside of their head and deal with what is directly in front of them. Mm, now I know you've been on plenty of the real stuff. Yeah. How does it, I mean, it's, it's so different. It's so is different. It? Okay, so yeah. it's not. Really feel well, no, like I mean, I, it is, it's the same skill uh, mm -hmm. set, but the thing is you're taking away that forward motion, so you oh. really have to pay attention to the technical. So, I mean, they were saying, you know, there's a lot of people that basically can snowboard and they know mm -hmm. how to do it, but maybe you might not be doing it the right way. And that that might have been the case for me because you have to really kind of almost get into a new groove. But it's great because you can, you know, learn to, uh, you can do this, the uh, switch back. You can do, you can do all different things that maybe mm -hmm. you may not want to try on the snow. You might be nervous of falling. Mm -hmm. um, people try this, you know, when they're brand new. And then there's Let's people the that are wondering. experts that go to kind of fine tune things. But I mean, I think the key is, for me anyways, especially living in Southern California, mm -hmm. you may take maybe two ski trips a year or something. Exactly. And when you get up there, you're rusty. Mm -hmm. The first couple mm -hmm. days you got to things out and exactly and you're like this stinks mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you you know practice there you're kind of getting ski shape so you mm -hmm. just get right on the mountain and you go mm. so I'm thinking that might be a good way to get the little guys to learn in my house absolutely yeah. yeah tons of kids and mm -hmm. they all seem to love it and you can learn more about virtual snow training in Santa Monica by heading to our website kcal9.com and just click on scene on TV